Hey everyone, Zach here and welcome to Painting VR Overview. I just now realized that I hate generic names. Like we've done other similar experience to this called Vermilion. That at least had some point of reference, but if you're calling something Painting VR, Shooter VR, Adventure VR, you know what it is, but it doesn't seem special at all. And it's not really me nitpicking, because nowadays you can get lost so easily on the Quest Store that you need to stand out somehow among others. So Painting VR is no surprise there. A painting simulator with all the brushes, canvas, I could essentially copy paste the Vermilion overview and my job would be done. This one however seems to be aiming at more basic forms of that art, learning mixing colors, the actual process of making something from scratch and just learning some beginner stuff. So I suppose I'm gonna find myself better in this app. I've made something for the first time in VR with no knowledge whatsoever, just listening to Bob Ross and his tutorial. I am very curious about just learning stuff, you know? Having a variety of skills in life is very handy and I would need to start from zero with painting in order order to actually make something decent. Just like in Vermilion it would be nice to have exporting features and save your art, also we will put in like a warehouse, so it's not gonna be just sitting around and fiddle with your brushes, you actually create your own studio. Let's see what this is about. Do we have any tutorial? <laughs> we have smooth locomotion, which is very nice. And canvas scale, oh my god. <laughs> it can be an easel floor wall. Oh, <laughs> what's references? All colors. Oh, like a legend. Nice. Is there a titanium white? Oh, I think that could be to color. <laughs> you know those coloring books for adults that were a trend back in the day? I think that's gonna be a good idea to do it. What are those stuff? A marker. Okay, <laughs> and I think we just dip in and then it changes colors. Nice. And this I think is our mixing palette. Okay, yeah, whatever we put, it kind of mixes all together. That's like a modern, uh, oh my god, I already forgot a name of it. Oh, there are bigger paints <laughs> behind me. <laughs> Should we start with this? Yeah, that works. <laughs> we can also go into the other places. Can we like spawn the paintings here? Or I guess we just take the easel and travel anywhere we want. <laughs> so I'm thinking Christmas is gonna be red, green, some brown. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. How do I reset this palette though? <laughs> oh, there's an intro video, okay. Hi there, and welcome to your virtual reality painter's studio. Here, you can spend endless hours bringing your ideas to life with an unlimited supply of paint, a wide range of tools, and canvases of all sizes. There is even an in-game browser you can use to find inspiration, play music, or follow tutorials. Getting started is easy. Pick up a brush with the grip button, dip it in a color of your liking, and start painting. At any time, you can save your painting to your portfolio, or export it to share it with the world. Nice. Pressing the menu button on the left controller brings up the main user interface. Some elements, like the canvas or the brushes, have their own menu. With these, you can dive deeper into the possibilities of painting VR. Enjoy painting and join our Discord for more help, tips and tricks. Okay, well that was a short introduction. I wish some mechanics would be explained to me, like the buttons, the overlays. I think I'll just have to do something like that. But that's not an actual red, I need a darker one. Yeah, okay, but that's... Oh my god, that's burgundy! <laughs> Give me this. Thank you. Wait, so the hats were green, right? What the? I need thicker paint than this. Oh my god. <laughs> Why it's so precise? Okay. Why I'm blurring the lines? And with my trembling hand, that does not help at all. Hot damn, like every move, doesn't matter if it's good or not, it's just registering. There's no mercy today. It's like, can we even paint some... Okay, you know, that's gonna be messy. <laughs> okay, you know, screw that. I'll do something else. Oh my god, ew, <laughs> the sound effects. Okay, let's do what we've done before. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's even gonna resist resemble it, but we'll see. First of all, titanium white. <laughs> well, at least here I can do that. We started with blue, I remember, right? Whoa, the lightning. It's like reflecting the sky or something. That's fun. It was like that, I believe. 
I don't want to pull up the tutorial now. It was like going from darker to lighter in the middle. Look at me just painting from the memory. <laughs> I don't have tools like in Vermilion, so I have to improvise. I guess let me take a marker for the clouds. Oh yeah, now that's the kid drawing. <laughs> I thought it's gonna be a way different style of painting. But I guess we're going for more abstract today. <laughs> yeah, that's close. Then I think it was like a mountain. Did it start with black? And the precision is crazy, holy hell. <laughs> Close enough. This already is a disaster. The hell? Some... Yeah, mountains in the middle. <laughs> oh, is it to clean your brush? Yes, okay. <laughs> Give me lighter. Well, at least the mixing is fairly simple. No, it's changing color in between. I'm not sure if the trees were now. What was it? I think red and... No? No, <laughs> I was green. Okay, I forgot I have one. Something darker. Yeah, okay. I feel like I'm gonna recreate this painting literally in every application that we're gonna release. I told you it's gonna be more abstract. At least here your strokes are very clear. You do whatever you want without any complicated tools. It's literally how you would paint in school. This is the contours of the lake. Why it's green? Is this a different picture? Hell, I have more control over what I'm doing. Doesn't matter that I don't know what I'm doing, but <laughs> at least I have a control. Wait, those trees are not even next to each other. <laughs> Maybe some contours in the mountain. Different shade of blue. Not like that. You can kind of diffuse it in place though. Yeah. Okay, let's do some autumn colors. Oh, I already made some. Nice. Something with this maybe but kind of like a stamping motion. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, what the? Oh. <laughs> I mean, no, my painting, you stupid wiggly brush. I guess we're going Picasso now. <laughs> Don't move like that. Jesus. It literally doesn't stop. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe something less thicker. What the? It's the other way? <laughs> I feel like I'm done. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna make something better. <laughs> this wiggly brush screwed me up. I think that's a mountain painting, but there was a murder scene next door and it's our last painting on this planet. I'll sign with my signature. Yes. Go up on the exposition. So, thoughts comparing with Vermilion. I feel like I had more control there. <laughs> so it's essentially two different styles of painting. I think here it's more abstract and just more conceptual, if it's even correct term. Because we don't have like a strict tools for precision painting. It's gonna be more splatchy and colorful. I guess in the right hands it's gonna work normally, but for my fadas it's just how it looks like. If I would prefer the two, I would still pick Vermilion just because there's more control over what I'm doing. Doing. This is more like a fun and out there way of expressing your inner artist. So I guess even here I can't escape my psychotic brand. <laughs> well, I made now two paintings in my life. <laughs>